This is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with selecting farms to enroll in ARC IC. For the 2019 year, you can make very specific choices about which farms to enroll in ARC IC because you will know all the information that's needed to calculate whether ARC IC will make a payment except for one piece of information, and that's the 2019 marketing every market year average yields. ARC IC uses 2013 to 2017 yields and prices in determining the revenue benchmark. Those are known. 2019 yields will be used in calculating revenue in 2019. Those are known, and again, the only thing that isn't known is 2019 prices, but we have a pretty good idea what those are. The way we would suggest selecting farms to enroll in ARC IC for 2019 is to select those farms that are most likely to make a, make a payment. So what we would suggest you do is calculate whether or not those farms will make a payment and then choose which one of those farms make a payment. Here's an example. We have three farms here, FSA farms. This is, happens to be our ARC IC payment calculator tool, so you can download this from our Farm Bill website. Farm 3 makes a $53 payment. Farm 2 makes a $28 payment. Farm 1 makes a $0 payment. If you all enroll only Farm 1 in ARC IC, it will make $0 payments, as we've indicated here. Let me take this farm out of here and say no, and put our Farm 3 in here. This will make a $53 payment. This farm also happens to be above the ARC IC guarantee, and that's important because when we combine this with another farm, you'll notice that the, far, the, 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 the ARC IC payment isn't going to go down if we calculate this with another farm, which had a $28 payment. The two together makes a $51 payment. So what we would suggest you do is go down the list and see which farms make a payment, those that have the highest payment, start there and just keep going down the list and see what happens to the combined ARC IC payment for 2019. Again, we have a special situation in 2019 where we will know the yields for all these ARC IC farms so we can pretty closely estimate what those are going to make payments for in 2019. You also want to check every combination because in this case, if we add this third farm with zero payment, add that in, we're still at a 51 payment now. If we add that farm, we go to a $50 payment. Down a little bit, but we add 100 base acres also into our total payment. The reason why this happened was because the third farm was well above its ARC IC uh, payment limit, so we're adding that in with the third farm below, and that totals causes our total to still maintain at that current level. That will not always be the case. It does. You you generally need a farm that has above the ARC IC payment uh, guarantee or payment limit before adding a pay farm that is not making a payment increases the total size of payment on the, in, on the three enrolled farms.